Hello guys, Vandal here, and welcome back to another episode of Terra Attack. Now, in the previous episode, we made <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah, we made a lot of money. We built all of these farms here um, to support our building ventures soon to come. Yes, actually, today's gonna be the first day we're gonna be building something new. So, I'm gonna be building something worthy of the Titan Wheel. So for those of you who don't know the titan wheel, here it is. Uh, <clears throat> here is the titan wheel. It's so freaking big guys, that in, it needs an entirely new tech to um, support it. So, I'm not gonna be uh, rebuilding Wally as I've mentioned before, because I think he's fine the way he is as a miner. So what I'm going to be building though, is I'm going to be building an entirely different thing. What I'm going to be building is a base. Yeah, I'll be building a base. Actually get these here. Some free Megaton cannons, of course. Those are always welcome. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be building a mobile base. I could build it here, or I could build it in... Um, Maybe I could build it in R&D as well, but I prefer to build it here, so while we're building it, we're earning money at the same time. Well, passively earning money, that is. Um, yeah, so let's get going, guys. ran out of uh, <laughs> batteries uh, let's go get some more shall we okay yeah we're gonna need I think a million is not enough guys <laughs> yeah I don't think a million is gonna be enough Alright guys, so let me just discuss what I've been doing here. So this is going to be the frame of the, uh, at least, uh, currently this is what I have. Let me just explain what's been happening here. Here I have uh, some wheels attached to some repair bubbles. So each of these wheels here has their own repair bubble because, you know, they're they're big like that. They need an entire geocore bubble just to freaking repair it but it's not gonna matter much because you know guys um, we have a crap ton of geocore batteries here so no issue there now the other thing is uh, besides this uh, geocore repair bubble is I have these uh, Hawkeye 2 blocks here so I have this here mainly to protect the uh, the batteries here so everything is padded with either a repair bubble or a battery and the geocore um, stuff tend to be quite durable anyways, so I did put them here. Uh, actually, to be truthful, 
I put the G the uh, GeoCore repair bubbles here so that they can be as close as possible to the wheel so it covers as much of it because if you look here even just a bit of the wheel is actually poking out of it that's how freaking big this thing is and um, I also had to uh, so right now we have eight GeoCore repair bubbles and we're not yet done but yeah so so far this is um, this is it and um, yeah let's keep oh yeah oh so another thing is I have these two uh, uh, Venture mobile SU storage device so uh, I have these two here on the side and I put in here some oh I put in here some some sloping blocks just so when a when something gets sucked in it actually slides in and you know hopefully it doesn't caught up with any any blocks at all yeah that's the plan <laughs> oh boy let's uh, let's hope this works out all right let's keep going guys Oh god, these fuel tanks cost a lot of money. Look at my money, guys. Oh man. And I. Oh. Now I need to get the large jet engines. So, the thing that I want to do, guys, is. I want to put the boosters inside instead of outside. Yeah, so it would seem like we're, we're boosting. Oh my god, man, goodbye money. Okay, we're down to 400,000 and we're just at the base. Oh boy. Yeah, we need to... <laughs> oh man, okay, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna need more than this to, to, uh, to boost us. Okay. Okay guys, uh, this is it so far. I'm gonna have to do some experiments because uh, there are some things that I'm curious about whether it would work or not. So in the meantime, this is what I have. I have pretty much put everything I need in here. So we have a, a Venture Cruise Cab. Now I, I attach this here because this is the cab with a speedometer. So that's useful. Uh, that means I don't have to attach another like a speedometer here just to uh, see my speed. Also everything, all the essentials are in here. All, but I'll still put some outside just so, you know, for style. But in case they get shot down, they're still inside. So that's going to be fine. 
other than that, I'm thinking about building the base here at the back. Yeah, that's going to be our main problem. Uh, yeah, I'm still not sure how it's going to turn out. So I'm going to do some experiments. All right, let's go. So, okay, guys, this is what I want to test here. This is a, uh, it's a simple setup. I want to see if we if we put some stuff in here, if this gets loaded with resources, does it go straight here or does it get stuck in the silo? That's what I'm curious about. So let's go ahead and uh, get some resources. Uh, manufacturing blocks. Yeah, so we're gonna have, okay. Also, let's put in a pacemaker. Oh, it actually goes into it. Yeah, it works, guys. What if I do this? Yeah, it works. Okay, guys, so this is my system here. So what I want to do is the, let's uh, filter this to... Uh, uh, you know what? Let's filter this to Celestian Crystals. And then let's filter this to Erudian Crystals. So what, what I want to see happen is first I want to know if Pacemaker will uh, speed up the process. Uh, second, I don't. I want to know what happens if you stack two silos together. What happens to the blocks that gets, you know, that goes here? Does it go to the top? Do can they intersect or not? So yeah, that's what I want to know. And um, yeah, so let's let's uh, let's try this out, shall we? Oh, these are all refined already. Huh? Then I can't use this then. So let's go with uh, uh, Titanite. So this is Luxian and this one is Titania Ingot. Okay. Let's test this out. Uh huh. There we go. Whoa. I can't tell. Are they intersecting or? What? Oh god. Well, first of all, it seems they're intersecting. Yeah. They're definitely intersecting guys I'm pretty sure they're intersecting each other yeah this would actually work quite nicely so we can we can stack can stack resources so that's good okay that is really good information I think with this information guys we can continue building um, our mobile base yes
Okay guys, so this is what I got so far. Uh, so as you can see, I plated this part here, just so you know, because this one's exposed all the time. So I want it to be armored pretty nicely. And then I put in two of these. Uh, what is this? Yeah, the, the Geocore resource receiver. I put in two Geocore resource receiver, had them feed into here. Now I had to put this here so that they don't uh, connect because if I put in a conveyor this would go either left or to the right so I had the receiver here and put in a pacemaker right here now I was initially thinking of getting two um, two of these uh, refineries but I ended up just going with one
Okay guys, I have the sorting system done. Here's the sorting system. So I have um, some silos. I have 11 silos in total, each for each refined resource. Again, I'm not storing the raw ones. I really hope this all works out. Because man, this takes so much planning, guys. It's crazy. This is one crazy giant mobile base here. But uh, yeah, let's just hope it all works out. Okay. Okay, fuel chunks go in here. Then they go to these generators. And then afterwards, if there's any left after, let's say all of these are full. That means all the remaining chunks are gonna go through here. Actually, no, let's, uh, yeah, it's gonna go up here. And it's gonna go through here. If there's any fuel chunks, it's gonna go here. If not, all of them are gonna get sold. So, uh, yeah, this is what I have for now. Now, the question is, do I want to add in fabrication? Let's say, uh, if we're gonna give this base a, a functionality to anchor itself, then that means uh, we should be able to craft some stuff as well. But, do we want that though? That's the question. Actually, yeah, I do want it to be able to craft. I want this to be a versatile mobile base. I want it to be able to craft mainly because if you look, I mean, why am I still storing the resources if I'm just going to sell them anyway? There's no point. I might as well just sell them. Uh, but since we're on the task of building the ultimate mobile base, I might as well uh, go ahead and try. So let's go do it. Yes, let's do it. Let's see what we can do.
Well, shit. <laughs> okay, I got scrappers, got fabricators, component factories, everything. I got everything in here, guys. It's done. Now, I need to freaking test it if it actually works. So, let's do it. Let's uh, take a snapshot. And let's... Uh, I'm gonna rename him later. Okay, let's try it one by one first. Let's see how it sorts out everything. Okay, it's working. Okay. Alright. Okay. Everything is in order. It's working, guys. So far, it's working. Well, it's clear to me that some are getting past it, but that's that's fine. You know what? That's that's fine. Oh, some actually got into the uh, generators. Yep, <laughs> that is awesome. It works. <laughs> oh yes. So now let's try the scrappers. Let's anchor ourselves. All right. So now we're anchored. Let's try out the, uh, the scrappers. So let's start with a fibron chunk, fibron block. That way we, we could see how this would behave in the uh, in the generator part here. Okay. Okay. So far so good. So far so good, guys. Okay. Uh huh. All right, all right. Now let's try the uh, venture. Try a. So yeah, so it actually gets stored in here when uh, all of these are too much. That's good. So let's grab this. Does it work? Okay, that works as well. Now let's try the GSO one. Let's try Ignion blocks. Okay. Oh, by the way, we don't have any uh, erudite, so let's let's try that here, and then let's go for uh, okay that that got stored, no problem. Let's try this now. Mm, let's try more erudian blocks. There we go. See how much this thing can store. Okay. Now, question is, can we craft while doing all of that? Okay, let's try crafting something. Uh, what do I want to craft? Mm, nope. Crafting... let's try crafting a solar generator. Do I need to increase the loop? I think the loop should cover this. Maybe that's why it's not working. Hmm. Let's try this out again. I want some solar generators. Can you give it to me? Give it. Give it to me, give it to me. Where is the solar generators? Okay. Oh, it works, it works! It works! Oh god. You know, I think I should remove those magnets. <laughs> yeah, let's remove those magnets. They're not helping at all. Okay, there we go. But yeah, they work, guys. They work. Oh man, we are heavy. Oh no, we're anchored. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Oh, I can tell it's already getting heavy. Oh man. Uh, my mobile base. Well, it's supposed to be a mobile base. It's not supposed to be fast. But you know, we do have boosters, so that can help a bit. <laughs> Alright, let's take a snapshot of this 
and let's save it again overwrite let's quit yes the internals are done the internals are done guys so uh, this is gonna be the first part of uh, this uh, series here which is the internals the second part is gonna be the shell the covering the weapons everything else I'm not sure how much more weight these wheels can carry I, I don't know maybe not much but <laughs> yeah I'll have to use uh, venture blocks to uh, uh, counteract the weight but of course uh, we're still gonna be after security and protection so we're still gonna be using some Hawkeye blocks here and there but yeah this is gonna be it for me for now uh, I hope you like this episode guys uh, this took a lot of research and trial and error on my part uh, to do this and yeah <laughs> it's crazy this is gonna be crazy guys so yeah thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one